Center. A manhunt is underway tonight for a suspect believed to be involved in several shootings in East LA. The victims were targeted in what appears to be random attacks. Yeah, one of them just narrowly escaping. Let's go to Rachel Menatoff. She's live in East LA now with reaction from one of those victims and some of the local business owners. Rachel. Rick, Kareen, good evening to you both. Police are now looking into whether the three early morning shootings are connected. They don't yet know for sure, but there are some definite similarities in all three of these instances. One of those shootings happened right here behind us at the intersection of First Street and Cumming Street around 720 this morning. According to police, a man armed with a rifle wearing a face mask began shooting and then took off. He's said to be driving a blue or gray four door sedan about an hour earlier in the morning. A man in his 30s was shot and critically injured on mission and zonal. Police say the victim was walking down the street and shot by a man with a rifle who then drove off. We do not have a description of the car in this instance just yet. A second victim tells us he narrowly escaped as a man carrying a rifle with a scope began firing in a third Boyle Heights neighborhood today. He told us the bullet hit his car just as he had arrived to work at a construction site. We also spoke to two business owners in the area who say this pattern is a concerning one. I'm not really surprised because I have witnessed before somebody, uh, that's like years ago, like somebody being chased by a car and they shot him. And so in a way I mind my business and I go with my day. That's what I could tell you. You know, as a business owner, that, that is pretty scary. Um, it makes us, you know, like I said, we close up early sometimes. It, it is, uh, it makes us think like, you know, what's going to happen next? It keeps us up on our toes, walking on eggshells kind of. LAPD tells us the Hollenbeck division is working this case, trying to determine if there's a connection between all three of these early morning shootings. They tell us they're looking for a suspect between the ages of 20 and 30 years old, driving a gray or blue four door sedan. As always, anyone with information is urged to give them a call. We're live in Boyle Heights tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. Rachel, thank you.